A former Russian spy was probably assassinated on orders of Vladimir Putin after he accused the Russian president of being a pedophile. And that's according to an official inquiry in Great Britain. Ex-KGB agent Alexander Litvinenko was fatally poisoned in London nearly 10 years ago. His tea laced with a radioactive substance. And the British report determined that Putin was angry after the spy called him a pedophile and likely ordered the killing, which took place a few months later. Let's bring in Tony Sheena, an expert on counterterrorism and form former covert operations and special forces trainer. Welcome. Thanks for being here. Thanks, John. Does it all sound plausible? I know nothing about the pedophile aspect of things. Um, I do actually know um, more about the Litvinenko case. When uh, we, ta we were tasked with taking care of Berezovsky uh, to a point, we aided him in Africa. Uh, Berezovsky was Putin's number one enemy, and Litvinenko was tasked to assassinate Berezovsky at one stage. And uh, Litvinenko eventually came to turn on uh, Vladimir Putin, said he was corrupt, uh, that he was running a little fiefdom in Russia, and he also made this, uh, this, this charge of, of him being a pedophile on the side. Yeah, I mean, he, he defied Putin, and uh, he uh, basically befriended Berezovsky. And, and helped his cause, which was, you know, he was a great enemy of Putin's government and at one stage wanted to, you know, overthrow an, an attempted coup on the Russian government. And that's how he became Putin's number one enemy. Um, the, the case with the, uh, regarding the pedophilia, now that, that is a, a dirty charge and often used in the espionage world that I know nothing about. Right, well, but, but the, the British are not able to say with absolute certainty uh, that Vladimir Putin ordered this hit, but they're saying that it is highly likely. I, I suppose that kind of thing you're not likely to find, you know, text messages, phone calls, and that sort of thing. But they say with a high degree of certainty, uh, the man on the right of the screen there, Vladimir Putin, was involved. Yeah, I mean, polonium-210 was the radioactive poison used, and it does leave breadcrumbs, which uh, apparently leads all the way back to the Kremlin. Um, being an enemy of the state and an enemy of Putin's is, is puts you in a very vulnerable position as being one of the most powerful men in the world. You don't really want to be in his crosshairs. You know, we've seen it before with Nemstov. We see it now, you know, we saw it later with Litvinenko, and we've seen it with Berezovsky, who, you know, who also died uh, two years ago under suspicious circumstances. So it, nothing would surprise you when it comes to Putin? Yeah. <laughs> You know, I, I always say, if you're in the crosshairs of really any intelligence organization on this planet, your days are numbered. Um, if you're an enemy of the state, you know, there are policies that allow uh, that execution, mm -hmm. right? Tony Sheena, it's good to have your expertise. Thank you. Thank you.